Now we begin with stunning new information in the investigations into President Biden and his son, Hunter. Top Republicans are demanding the FBI hand over internal documents at noon today. A whistleblower claims those documents will show then Vice President Biden accepted money for policy decisions. And we're waiting to learn whether or not the FBI has indeed met this deadline. Republicans also announcing explosive new information about the Biden family business dealings during a news conference a short time ago. They say information obtained from a subpoena of the Biden family financial documents show that the family received millions of dollars in foreign cash and reveals that Hunter set up over 20 different companies, 15 of them after his father became the vice president. Watch. Instead of being with, honest with the American people, President Biden has claimed since the 2020 election that his family has not received money from China. That was a lie in 2020, and he continues to lie to the American people now. The committee is concerned by the complicated, suspicious network of over 20 companies. The bank records show the Biden family, their associates, and their companies received over 10 million dollars from foreign nationals and their companies. And we see that repeated over and over again, siphoned off 30 percent or a million dollars to Hunter Biden, James Biden, Hallie Biden, why, they, why she would need that, and an unknown Biden bank account. The Biden family needs to answer for this, and the DOG, DOJ needs to get off its ass and investigate. What we're witnessing with uh, the Biden family frankly, it's just a web of concealment, of deception. So a lot of people would say corruption. But let's be very clear. You have this many companies involved with this velocity of transactions, size of transactions. Like my colleagues have said, this is not how normal businesses operate. I mean, guys, you in the press, this is easy pickings. I'm giving you Pulitzer stuff here. Like, all you have to do is literally look at our memo and see the level of detail upon which they have created this. And it's very, it's very, very frustrating. Wow. Kaylee, mm -hmm. Congressman Donald, they're hitting the nail on the head. He said, this is not how normal businesses operate. This is a right. complicated web that only reveal questions of why and what is behind it. Because in real life, as he pointed out with his financial background, it always means you're concealing something. You're concealing it from the creditors, from the IRS, from other families, from the government. And he said, hey, press, I'm feeding it up to you. I'm serving you up a Pulitzer. I'm connecting the dots. What next? Yep, and they got Pulitzer's for the Russian dossier, which turned out to be fake. Um, they're not looking into this, but let me break it down as simply as I can. Two countries, Romania, China, both of which the Biden family gets payments from these companies within these countries. One third is the payment in each of these inc incidences that they get. So it seemed like some kind of ironed out deal, you know, one third in each. The Romania one is the one that's interesting because there are 17 payments made to Biden family members. Now, there's not a direct allegation of a payment to Joe Biden yet, but Biden family members, 16 of the 17 payments happened while he was vice president. That's big news. Gabriel Popovich is the individual who's making these payments, some of which go to Hunter Biden. Gabriel Popovich is a corrupt man in Romania uh, and this comes this payment five weeks after Joe Biden has the Romanian president over to the White House and gives a speech on anti-corruption oh. now White House counsel is saying look this proves that none of these went to Joe Biden so those questions still remain uh, but the suspicion is real when you have 20 shell companies they get 10 million dollars some during the vice presidency some after uh, and it seems like an elaborate shell game so unanswered questions but I thought Comer delivered I was skeptical um, because because there's a lot of buildup, but I thought he delivered. Yeah, and Harris, to Kaylee's point, if it's not a shell game, why don't you just transfer it directly? And if you want to practice above board transactions, why don't you practice in countries that have standard business practices? Those are the questions that John Levine on America's Newsroom asked earlier. Take a listen. Why would you have LLCs transferring to other LLCs transferring to the Bidens? It makes no sense. You know, if, if this is all above board legitimate business, why not just transfer directly? And also you'll notice the countries Hunter Biden did business in, China, Romania, Ukraine, he wasn't in countries with good business practice standards. Well, now I thought that was really, really important point to make, that you're, you're already doing something that is going to raise suspicious activity report mm. um, attention, but then you're gonna deal with countries that don't even have as much legitimacy 
as a communist nation of China uh, and, and their businesses that are all state owned there. I, I thought that was fascinating. I thought that the number 10 million just felt specifically big today. Mm -hmm. Like we always hear the Biden family, a million this, a million that. But when you when you hear a double digit like that and you hear that more bank subpoenas are coming, that money trail is undeniable. And my dad always said, mm. as someone who did intelligence, who did reconnaissance in the military, follow the money. Mm -hmm. Because someone will talk. And I thought we got someplace today, and even Republican voters have told me that they are, and you use the word, I think, skeptical, um, of this point that we're in, where we hear a lot of talk, but we don't see a lot of the receipts of the facts of the evidence. Mm -hmm. The promise that there is some it's about to be made public and then there's more coming because more people are anticipated to come out and talk and because now everybody's going to have to backside watch oh. right yeah. they're going to have to cover and when they do that they're going to want something in return called immunity emily that's how you get people to talk uh, and so how do you shut up all those people i don't i mean president biden can barely give a news conference on his own how's he going to shut people up well and the evidence is now on the table this house committee has done yeoman's work digging through these shell companies. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, if any of this proves to be connected to Joe Biden, the Bidens yeah. owe the Corleones an apology. I mean, this is a crime Ooh. unit, as Comer said. Uh, it's very complicated. My question is, nine family members were paid off, including the two grandchildren. Now, what did they do to get in on this grift? I mean, were they, they running... They the Biden last name. Uh, or they were running, I don't know, Mandarin play dates in Delaware. I don't know what they were oh. doing. <laughs> but somehow they came into this Chinese money, Ukrainian money, landing in their bank accounts. It's all very curious. But we knew this back in 2014 when Christopher Hines, John Kerry's stepson, walked away from Hunter Biden. He was part of this group. Rosemont Seneca, that Hunter owned. In 2014, he stepped away. When? When Hunter Biden joined the board of Burisma. He saw the problems then. We're now seeing the gross underbelly of all these deals that they only had an inkling of. And so much more to uncover as these questions are raised here. What's interesting to me, you know, again, Congressman Donald's brought up the velocity of these transactions. I note the velocity of this investigation, that in a short amount of time, what is forensic accounting, which is a vastly mm -hmm. complicated, sometimes really confusing arena, they seem to have done an amazing job of being crystal clear with all the red flags and what exactly they need further from the FBI and more to connect those final dots. Okay, so isn't this what federal prosecutors are supposed to do? Isn't this what federal investigators are supposed to do? Why are we leaving it up to congressional committees? Obviously, you know, this these suspicious activity reports had been launched by the banks from the time that Joe Biden was vice president. Mm -hmm. So this was known to government officials. There were people within the Obama administration who were also raising alarm bells because so much of this looked bad. So why weren't people putting this together? And yes, you have to continuously be adding people and entities to this in order to launder money yeah. because you can never have too much money going to one place at any one time because you're already you've already reached a threshold of suspicion that's why you start diluting it you you add the kids you add other people with the same family name because they're the only ones who can be the trusted name. you know we are enriching ourselves as a clan you know we're in this together it's us against the world and yet that gets people to behave and fall in line because hey man who doesn't love free money? The problem with your dad as president, the, uh, the bar for impeachment is much, much lower. So it, it's much easier because we've been through it twice with well, President Democrats Trump. Democrats lowered it. Yes, exactly right. So, so they know that, and now Republicans are in charge of the House. So they made that's why the, the spigot has been somewhat turned off. Mm -hmm. So much more to come. We'll keep you, of course, comprised if and when the FBI does submit those documents. All right. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.